Hi everyone and welcome to Mixed Media Morsels Layers of Fun. It's already May, I can't believe it, but I'm having some really really nice weather and I hope you all are getting to enjoy some nice weather too. Um, let's get some prompts though. We got to get this show on the road. Okay. First I'm going to pull my add background color prompt and it will be ooh, coffee or tea. Oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> All right. Then we're going to glue something. So let's get a couple of prompts for that. Okay, the first one is a postage stamp or stamps, whichever. If you'd like to do more than one, that's perfectly fine. And the next one is going to be torn paper. Okay, that would be awesome. I love doing these prompts. Just having a blast with it. <laughs> okay, the next one is make marks. And we're going to use some rub-ons. If you don't have rub-ons, you know, like I have said before, I think we had rub-ons in another category uh, one other time, but if you don't have rub-ons, you can simply use uh, a rubber stamp or just make marks with a pen or a pencil or with any kind of found item like we've done before. So don't stress about it if you don't have a particular item. Just keep playing. <laughs> All right, and then the next one is Scribble writing. That's fun. We, we all like that. It's also called a semic writing. And it's just scribbling writing that doesn't really say anything. It doesn't make any sense. It just looks really cool and textural on your, on your page. So, yay. All right, these are going to be super fun. I can't wait to get started playing. And I will be back once I've gathered all of my items and figured out what I'm going to do. All right, so I, oh, I created my cover page for my little journal. Just used some of that tissue paper that I have and drew a little border around it and stuck on the little label that I had made for, to go with all the kits. And I think that looks fun and it's exactly what I would want for this journal. <laughs> so um, I wanted to show you one other thing on last month's page. After I turned off the camera, I saw that last little gold star like these that I had laying over off to the side. And I was like, surely I can use that someplace. And so I made a little page tab and just stuck it at the bottom of this page. And so I thought, you know what, I think I'm going to go back and put page tabs on on for all the months. And it's so interesting how it turned out. This is another serendipity action at, at work here. The one that I started with, I put at the bottom of the page, which works out perfectly because this would be January, February, March, and that's April. So it just, it's lined up perfectly. And I did not plan that. <laughs> And I think that is so cool. So I think I will go back and put a little page tab along the edge because there's plenty of room because the cover is a little bit larger than the pages. So there's plenty of room for it. I think it'll just add a lot of fun, you know, to the book. But I couldn't believe that that worked out perfectly like that. So the background color is coffee or tea. And I have some coffee stained paper that I really want to use on this background. So what I did was one day um, I was just making some coffee coffee stained paper and I was doing it outside in the sun. And so I was dipping my paper, just a plain uh, copier paper, printer paper, just dipping the whole sheet into some coffee and then taking it out and laying it out on my outside table. Then I took the stencil and put it on top of that and sprayed it with some more coffee and left it, left it alone, left, left it to dry in the sun. And this is how it turned out. And I just love it. I think it looks amazing. 
and the back looks pretty cool too <laughs> but I do I do like this one I'm going to use this side for my page and I've got it marked out you know the size that I need to cut it to cover these pages so I'm going to cut that out real quick and attach it and then I'll come back and go further with the next step okay now that I've got my, my background paper down I think I'm going to move over to the mark making portion so that I can get that on the background first. It's not to say that I won't come back and add more later once I get other things on top, but I do like to get some of that down while the background is more plain. So I think I'm going to just do a border around my page and it will be lines and some scribble writing and lines and scribble writing. And I think I'll just go all the way around and just kind of like kind of loosely hold the pen and like draw a line and then scribble some scribbles. <laughs> so fun <laughs> just messy scribbles I love it all right now I'm gonna do a couple of um, put on a couple of rub-ons if you know no rhyme or reason just playing and having fun That's fun. All right, and if I need to add some more, I will add some more later. I think I'm going to leave it for now. You guys know how I like to have the little uh, flag banners or bunting in my journals. I think I, I've put one in most of my journals. <laughs> but it's like, a, it's like a fun thing that I love, and so I like to represent it. You know, the fun things, the favorite things that I like in each one of my journals. You know, like the same way I do birds and coffee and flowers and leaves. I like to do the little buntings. So I'm going to make one of those and I'm going to tear the little flags out. So that'll be my torn paper. And I'm going to make my paper. I'm going to move these out of the way. I'm going to make my paper in the in the sense that I'm going to paint it. I wanted to show you guys that on Pinterest, there are all kinds of color combos and color palettes that you can look at. So if you're not sure which colors you want to use, you can go and search for color combos or color palettes. And that way, if you're not sure which colors go together or would look good together or whatever, these just lay it out for you. And I just love it. <laughs> so I was looking through and I decided I'm going to do this one right here. So I'm just going to use all of these colors, well, as close as I could come to them with my paints, to make the little flags for my banner. So anyway, there's just lots and lots of them, and they're, they're beautiful, gorgeous. So anyway, I just wanted to share that and show you which one that I had chosen for mine. So I've just got a piece of printer paper again that I'm going to use and I need to get my paints out and then we'll get started. I made a little pattern of roughly the size that I was going to use for my flags. So I just folded the paper to make sure that I have enough of the color on each section and then I can tear it out once it's dry.
I want to make some splatters on my page. So while this paint is all out here, I want to be able to do that. I'm going to just kind of guesstimate where I'm going to put my banner. So I'm going to I think have it go like so. It's just going to spread out across the page. There we go. I like that. Okay, and then I'm going to get a general idea of where my flags are going to be because I want to splatter the color above each flag. Just thought it might be cute to do that. So this will all be covered up with the flags. There we go. So I don't know if you can see it, but I penciled in flag here, 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 and here. Okay. So now I can splatter and let it dry and then I'll put the other things down and it'll just be it'll be just right. So I need some water to spray in my paints here. Put out a little protection. Okay, so um, my little splatters are almost dry, and these I are these are dry. I'll go ahead and just kind of cut them apart so I can tear out my little lags. All right. So. These are not going to be exact because they're going to be torn, of course, which might make it cute, too, because it might make it look like the flags are blowing, <laughs> you know. And um, so I think that's kind of cool. What I, what I would like to do, though, is make sure I get them basically the same um, length. So I am going to stack them all and just cut them with my pattern here, just kind of cut them down to the right length. And that way I won't have some shorter and some longer. Just like that, and we'll cut it down to okay. I think that's fine and I'm going to put a little quote down here so I'm going to set these up for now so I can draw my line a lot of times I make a I'd use like a piece of baker's twine and glue that down or something but 
since this is just paper being glued flat, I'm just going to keep the line flat as well. have my quote ready and it says celebrate everything even the smallest victories I just think that this page looks like a celebration even the background um, these little splats the stencil I think was called splats or something like that and it's very old you probably won't be able to find it anywhere but it makes me think of like fireworks in the background so it looks like a celebration <laughs> so I'm gonna attach my words here and pretty much call this done I, I can't think of anything else right this minute that I want to do to it so if I do and I add anything to it I will be sure to include a picture at the end of the video to let you see anything that was changed See if that's straight here. Yeah, that looks good. I kind of think as I'm looking at it, I kind of think I want to put some some white polka dots or something on my little flags. <laughs> Just because it's a celebration and it makes it more fun. All right, that looks good. I'll outline that after the glue is dried. I'll take care of that. Oh, I forgot my postage stamps. Sorry about that. <laughs> I have a couple of stamps. These are actually stickers, but they are stickers that are uh, made to look like stamps. And I was thinking I might take one of these butterfly sticker stamps and folded over to make my page tab. Now, in keeping with what I was saying earlier about the pa page tabs going down the page with each month, this one being at the top might interfere with my flag there. I'm, I'm just not sure. So I may need to move this one down to the third position <laughs> just because it's, it's crowded here. It's going to be crowded up here. So I may put this one down here in the third uh, spot and then just fill in as the months go by I'll fill in to make sure that we get them you know relatively lined up um, at the end like in other words you can see how that that looks like three and four I mean we'll have them all one two three four and even if the next one is three two one four they'll all be there four of them lining the edge of the page so I don't think it'll matter too much in the end, but I do think it would matter if I put it up here and crowded that flag. I just don't, I just don't like the way that looks. So anyway, I don't know which one I want to use, that one or this one. Um, I think the blue on this butterfly is a little closer to this blue. This one has got the teal on it, which I really don't have teal on this page. So I'm going to save this one, I think, and use this one. So, yeah, I'm going to put my little page tab right there. All right. Let me see. Half the butterfly on one side, half the butterfly on the other side. <laughs> Perfectly fine. And the pink that shows over here is fine because it blends with the pink over here. So, yay, it's all good. All right. So now I've used everything. Coffee or tea, postage stamp, torn paper, rub-ons, and scribble writing. 
All right. So I do think I'm going to come back and do something here. I'm just not sure yet what that is. So I hope you guys have as much fun as I just had playing with paint. And <laughs> even though that wasn't really part of the prompts, you can see how these prompts cause us to continue to create beyond what the prompts call for. And I love that. It just brings out creativity that we may not have thought of. So that's why I love using them. And I hope you guys enjoy creating whatever comes to your mind when you start to apply some of these prompts. And I can't wait to see how that looks. And I'll look for those in the Mixed Media Morsels Facebook group. So have fun, everybody. And we will see you again soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.